How to add a proper plaster for an opening family. In this plan view, this wall is having layers of plaster in both sides, but the plaster is not extended to the core of the wall. Open the door type and activate the wrapping at inserts option. You can choose whether to use the exterior, interior, or both layers of plaster to be extended to the core and cover it. This is easy and understandable, but the real problem appears when we take a section through the opening and explore what is happening there between the plaster layers and the core. This is not what we expect. The plaster in the section is not extended to core although the wrapping is activated. And we need to find a solution for this. Let's open up the door family and add some necessary enhancements. We are going to add a section here also, in order to get the same view we want to enhance. Here, let's add some layers to the wall to be similar to the wall in the project. It is not necessary to do this, but it will help. What if we simply add a plaster extrusion here in the family? and adjust its size to match the wall opening. Then attach the extrusion depth to be linked with the wall. Whenever the wall thickness changes in the project, this extrusion will follow it. Let's test the family dimensions to make sure that everything is working properly. Looks healthy! And it's time to load it into the project to see the result. Yes, it seems that the problem is solved. Now, we have a plaster layer in the core of the wall in the section view. However, there is a problem. This is not a plaster. Yes, Rivet is considering what we did as a part of the door. And accordingly, the wall will never react to the plaster layer or join with it. In Rivet, walls never join doors. This is a rule. Actually, from a graphical point of view, we will keep seeing these lines between the real wall plaster and the non-wall plaster we have. But with a deeper look, this will occur much more problems than that. Let's go back to the family and add a real plaster. To do so, we will create a generic model family with the same extrusion that we already did before. We will add some reference plans to control the dimensions of the nested plaster family. We need to control the width, height, and depth of the plaster which will be the thickness of the wall, and then load it to the door family. Now, we will place the plaster properly, align it with the door reference plans, and lock, then link the dimensions of the plaster with the same dimensions of the door. Let's make some tests. When it comes to the thickness of wall, we will need to create a reporting parameter which indicates the final wall thickness when the family get loaded into the project. Reporting parameter only gives an information but cannot be used to control the family. To decide if you want the parameter to be reporting just check this box. Let's load the family to the project and see what happens. There is another problem here, the plaster is not get cut properly. And the reason behind this is that Rivet still considering the plaster family a part of the door family. Here, we need to add one more final step to get what we are looking for. Going back the plaster family and make it shared family. The shared family is an option to make it independent. We can load it in other families, but it will keep itself independent. Even in the BOQ schedules. Let's load back to the project one final time and examine what we are having at the very end. Okay, the problem of the plaster cutting is now solved. And if we deactivate the wrapping from the wall and give both the wall plaster and family plaster the same material, then we can join both properly and the separation annoying lines will disappear. Moreover, Rivet is now considering our plaster as a part of the wall especially when we join them. And the most important part of all this, that in the section view the plaster is now rounding up the wall core, exactly as it is required. This is fascinating. And Rivet is a very beautiful engineering software. Sim Tips and Tricks by Rocks Engineering